Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Katie and I make stuff vegan. Okay, so boom. You might notice a new background. That's because I moved, but more on that later, you came here to learn how to make vegan bubble tea. Now, bubble tea is one of my favorite things, period. Like definitely top 10. And you can't have a vegan milk tea. It's not always the easiest to find. Shout out to Bubble Fusion in Rochester, New York. You know what I'm saying? They do a vegan bubble tea. But I'm gonna show you how to make yours at home. You know, every in the house, it's in quarantine. Learn another skill, you know what I'm saying? Like this is one of my biggest flexes of quarantine, like making my own bubble tea. And I'm gonna show you how. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. Also, don't forget that the link to the detailed recipe will be in the description box below. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna be making two types of tea today. I'm gonna be making Thai tea, and I'm gonna be making a, a classic milk tea. Honestly, once you learn the process, you can make any type of tea that you want, but I'm showing you two of my favorite types. Okay, so I got this Thai tea off of Amazon. I will link that um, in the description, and I'm just following the instructions on that. And then I'm gonna make a classic milk tea, and I'm gonna season the tea with some cardamom and some cinnamon. This is completely optional, but I like it to have a little bit of depth, so that's why I'm choosing it doing that rather i also have some classic black tea from the asian market you can use probably any type of tea lift in but i wanted to see if i could make it taste as good as possible and i'm making that pretty strong with four bags okay i'm gonna show you how i make a simple syrup because this is one of the ways to sweeten it that's like i have no little granules granules at the bottom because it's a little ghetto you know what i'm saying we want to we want to do it like we in the shop you know what i'm saying so I'm gonna make a simple syrup. Now a note on the Thai tea, that box, I'll link it, that box comes with a little filter, but I lost it in the move. So yeah, I'm doing it the, I'm doing it this way, okay? I have this huge bag of boba, I split it with my friend Nikki. So that's why I have like this <laughs> plastic bag. I got this at the Asian market. And depending on your Asian market, they have a whole bunch of different flavors as well. I'm just gonna take enough that I think for two drinks and I'm just gonna cover it with about one and one, one, what am I saying? <laughs> one and one half cups of water child. And then I'm taking two to three tablespoons of sugar and mixing it up. If you ever miss anything, don't forget that the recipe is linked, girl. Click the link. Click the link. And I'm gonna cook these tapioca balls until um, they're soft. You can, however, consistency you want them, you could do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna make them just chill out on the simmer until they um, They get to the consistency that I want. Okay, so here's my Thai tea I went through some things to get that, you know, I had to use a paper towel and stuff, but you know, we made it And don't ask me why it's so zoomed in. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to get used to this place Okay, so I had the measurements a little bit off. So I'm adding I did it this two ways and I really like the second way, but we gonna move through this anyway. So for this this way, for the Thai tea, I put everything in one in one in the shaker. That works, but I'm really gonna hold out for the second way. Like I would recommend doing it the second way. I shook that up for about two minutes, and I'm kind of a weenie, so I had to take breaks. But you know, do you? If you a gym buff, go for it. Okay. There's my tea. I could have made it a little bit darker, but um. I always make it too strong, so I, I, I gotta find the middle. But you know what, you do what you wanna do. And I added my bubbles after. Here's the way that I would recommend. Put the bubbles in first. Okay, put the bubbles in. I put way more this time. And then I'm gonna shake everything up. This tea with four bags, I would recommend because if you don't make it strong enough, it just tastes bland. It just tastes like weird, you know what I'm saying? And then, I added everything else, oat milk, simple syrup, and you can play with the sweetness as much as you want. And then I poured it on top of the bubbles. That looks like, I'm about to open a shop, y'all. Period. And then I put the little froth on top. And there you go. And then I used these straws that I got off of Amazon. So the little balls can come up through them. You know what I'm saying? Like. Professional, okay? That looks professional. All I need is a little ch -ch -ch -ch. I don't know what that was. You know what I'm talking about? The little machine that has a little plastic? That's what I'm talking about, okay? I need that. I don't need that, but you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope that you give it a try. If you do, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.